We are at the airport and fogged up. <laughs> Headed to Tulum. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is unlike anything I've ever experienced. I know. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, work it. Work it, boy, work it. <laughs> Ew, no, baby, no. Ah, Jack, jeez. impressions did cool. I get did I get you a, a hut yes awesome. <laughs> and I do burger <laughs> okay I know that I am a little bit of a mess because we've been traveling all day this is unreal we actually have three different sleeping situations because we're a group of six um, so this is Haley's and mine and it has its own private pool and I don't even have words. I don't even have words. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you around and let you experience this with me because it is, I don't even have words. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Okay, let me just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, this is completely surreal. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's our little door. And we have a tree. We have a tree growing in our entrance. This is the handle to the door. <laughs> wow. So it is very, uh, it's late in the day, so, and it's got jungle coverage. So it is lime washed, it has an open shower. even fathom what I'm looking at right now. It's unbelievable. Look at the, the niche with the shampoos and conditioners. Wow. It comes, you got your separate little toilet there. And then the sink. It's like, I don't know if it's made of marble or what. And then water and all the supplies. So well, Haley and I, I mean, I guess technically we could each have our own bed. <laughs> wow, wow. These pillows look like the ones I have at home. Got a little desk area. This loaded, these, they supply us with rainwater. I mean, oh my goodness, with rainwater. Hopefully the, the lights aren't making this too crazy. Um, and fruit, and then there's like little uh, nuts and little things in here and some wine and this gorgeous gauzy linen. I'm going to take you outside in just a second. Okay. And then look at this. Look at that. Our area with a little mini fringe. Hopefully it'll focus. I mean, this is unbelievable. Okay, and then we have our own pool with our own hammock. Wow, unreal. Just truly unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm in shock. Little area. lights like that. Oh my gosh. And then a little hangout area. Literally in the jungle. This is crazy. See the water. This one doesn't have a water view. Well, I guess we get to unpack 
Yeah, there's an actual <laughs> closet. We can actually put oh my god, up. I'm in shock. I'm literally in shock. I, I'm literally not even processing what's happening in front of me. Wow. All right, we are blown away. <laughs> And that was really, really fun getting to see our room. And now we're gonna go see the other rooms. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Decenio. It is one of our absolute favorite go-to sources for artwork. They have incredible, literally, I think they have, must have one of the largest libraries of artwork I've ever seen. And as a designer, it is so helpful for me because they have so many different genres. Right now I have the Paris ones because I've been dreaming of going to Paris and I wanna get there so badly. They have such a vast library that one of my favorite things that they do is that they have these curated collections and you can literally just put it right into your cart and it will give you the frames that you need and the prints. I love it, it's amazing. So I'll show you, this is how the, uh, the frames will come when you order them and they have everything from five by sevens all the way up to really, really massive prints and we're getting ready to do a huge installation and we're gonna be showing you even more and I think you guys are gonna absolutely fall in love. But for now, Decenio has given me an amazing discount code and I wanna make sure that you guys look it up because you're gonna love getting to bring your own vacation memories home wherever you went or maybe you're ready to get a little bit into the fall spirit, either way, Decenio has it all. So, so use my code House of Valentina to get 45% off of prints and 10% off of frames. Code is gonna be good through July, so make sure you check out the link down below. I'll have all the information there. There's a few exclusions, but I'll have all the information down in the show notes. 45% off or a 10% off the frames is an amazing price. You're gonna be amazed by how affordable this art is and I just really enjoy it. It really is the kind of artwork that I myself really enjoy. And I think that there's just a subject out there for everyone and that's why it's so great. So make sure you check out all the details down below in the show notes. And now let's keep checking out Tulum. My room, Mom. Show us. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's literally the ocean and the boys' room. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are you in shock, son? This doesn't even feel real. I know, it's crazy. Oh my gosh! The stone floor is crazy! What do you think, bud? I like it. Crazy cool, huh? I know. Wow. Wow, so you guys have a little seating area on this one. We have a deck. You show us the deck? Yeah, this is incredible. Oh my. 
This is just unbelievable. Is Hi. it cool? Wow, we felt like this was like, it's really just like linen over it. And then let's check out the bathroom on this one, shall we? Oh, you've got a cool bench. Oh, you guys have fruit too. And lots of water. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this bathroom. You guys are, are literally staying in a hut. <laughs> How is this even real? Oh my gosh. So what does the other boy room look like? Let's go show. Where's your room? Why then? You lead the way? Follow me. It's the shower. Well, <laughs> I have just about taken a nap in this uh, little mosquito netting uh, little bed here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's unreal. The bed is so soft it is and so, so soft. comfy. Um, I'm excited because I have like a really cute wardrobe. <laughs> you have a lot of cute wardrobe. <laughs> we're going to take pictures all week oh my God, long. I can't wait. And we're going to. The food here is unbelievable. They have a ton of vegan options, which is amazing for me and yeah. for Haley as well, because we can't have milk. So there's gonna be a lot of options for us, which is very rare. Our tummies are growling. <laughs> so we're gonna go have some dinner. The kids are ready to explore some more. So we're gonna go explore, have some dinner, I think. And I don't know what's gonna happen. This is unlike anything I've ever experienced. I know. Oh, are you filming? Mm -hmm. I hope you're filming. Behind, Behind the scenes. scenes. Behind the scenes, huh? Are you catching yeah. us taking Instagram photos? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen her in the wild. <laughs> you should hire me for cameraman. I should. I should. You'd be very good at it. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. We need to get the little thing for the mic. I will. I'll get it. Okay. We saw a lizard. Uh huh. A black spiny tailed lizard. We saw a scorpion last night. Pretty scary. Got a big old tail like a dog. And uh, it was in our room. Luckily, we had a, a jack on hand. It's a sunny outside. Mexico's cool. I haven't had any tacos yet. I know, it's kind of sad. I need to keep on walking. Because it's. Oh! Well, hello there. And what are the chances of that? Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, there's a third one. Oh, Lord. This isn't slightly scary. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park baby dinosaurs. Hey, I can see you breathing. You're, I know, I know you're staring me off. Oh, he's moving. It, there's movement. Uh, uh. Okay. Good, goodbye, Mrs. Coupon. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Uh, uh. Oh. I didn't think I'd be able to see that. That was awesome. Good evening. 
<laughs> You're funny, you have sunglasses on, but the sun is about to set. I know I'm gonna regret this decision in just a minute. Yeah, it's just been a really quiet, relaxing day and it's been amazing. Yeah, it's so pretty. The beds just sleep so well. We slept so well. We did have a little bit of a fiasco with the scorpion in the boys' room last night. A scorpion, and we're, ta we're talking <sighs> scorpion. Yeah, it was underneath the suitcase. And the kids were like, there's a scorpion in the room. So we like run, you know, run over and we're like trying to get over there. And you just, Haley's like, oh, you can see a little bit of it. And I was thinking it was going to be this little thing. And Jack moves the suitcase and I'm not joking. It was five inches long. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's like a T-Rex <laughs> coming out from underneath there from freaking Jurassic Park. There's no telling what all the people around us were thinking as we were yelling and all the kids are screaming. The and entire room. <laughs> So clearly he has a role in this world and he knows his job, which is kill the bugs, which Especially you are. <laughs> they're freaking beasts. Yeah. So we're going to head down here uh, just before dinner, see if we can find a little spot to take some pictures. I'm wearing my cute little oh, zebra dress. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're literally standing. We're just like, look at them. We're just standing. We're like not even talking about the location. I mean, what the heck? I know. Look at where we are. Stuff we're surrounded by. Look at where we are. Yeah. All right, let's go. I want to see more. Do you think they'll give us a tour of more if we ask? Maybe I'll see. Wow. If I can get him to show us another minute or two. Oh, 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 look at these. It's just so cool. They're so cute. Cute? Oh, cute. cute's not the word. Just like, just unbelievable. We're literally in the Mayan jungle. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, Jack, I think this is one with the pool on the top. I think it is. Oh, I want a tour of that one. I want to see what that looks like. And there we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's almost afternoon. We have been up for a few hours and I think the camera keeps fogging up. Yep, it does. So apologies, but we're gonna update you real fast. We are headed to, we already had massages and then the kids had breakfast while we were having massages. So the two of us are going to have an amazing breakfast. The breakfast here is incredible. They call it the jungle breakfast. And this is probably the kids calling Jack. Yep. Um, but yeah, we, Get to choose between chia pudding or oatmeal. We've got fruit, juice. Yesterday was fresh juice. It's whatever is fresh for the day. So it is mind blowing. Here we are. Let's go have breakfast. All right, you guys. We are back in our room, and because our room actually has a pool, uh, we have a great spot to just hang out. So Jack is going to grab the kids, and I'm probably gonna grab my book. I brought Casino Royale with me. <laughs> That's my book of choice for my trip. It just feels appropriate <laughs> to be in such a, I don't know, exotic location. I feel like James Bond books and movies always have that sort of feeling. So I'm a huge James Bond fan in case you haven't figured that out. So I decided I would read the books because I thought that'd be a lot of fun. So while the room gets serviced, I'm just uh, sitting out here for a minute and we were trying to take pictures on the beach and it's just too hot. So we're gonna relax in the pool for a bit. Uh, the sun is nice and warm and the environment is amazing here. And I can't believe how much, oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh, it's so amazing here, I can't. I can't even take it all in. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but way back here behind me, there are little huts that are back there. And that is the view from the pool. Pretty epic. So I'm thinking some coffee is going to be in order. Haley got a banana, banana peanut butter coffee smoothie kind of drink this morning. And it was super yummy. So I'm imagining 
in about an hour or so we're gonna be ready for that as well so that'll be nice but um yeah just waiting for the room to get serviced and probably switch outfits again and hang out in the pool and take some more pictures and just having a lot of fun so yeah we'll catch up with you guys in a bit all right a good evening you guys we i, I am literally windswept <laughs> that's the sound of birds <laughs> out, a there. Bird out there Ooh, look at my hair. we uh yeah so played for hours in the pool with the kids and then we were like we're just gonna go get a couple photos of this little hut yeah we've had so much fun this thing is like incredible oh, this room epic. is amazing in fact can we oh i can't open the door because when i do the wind is so loud yeah that and the ocean is so loud but look at the ceiling in here it's it it it's truly unbelievable. I, I feel like, like we need the emoji with the mind blown. Yes. Right there. <laughs> By the way, we shot around 800 photos today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, happy uh, times editing those, hey. but I'm having a good time. Uh, took some photos down by the water as well. So make sure you look at our Instagram, at my Instagram. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna take the kids to dinner, but we have to update you from here because it's so windy and it's so loud at the restaurant, you can't hear anything. So it's having such a good time. Yeah. Truly, truly loving this place. Just unbelievable. I'm loving this so, place. So, yeah, can't wait to give you, I think we're gonna definitely do like a, like a steel style or like certain elements that you yeah. could bring home. Cause I don't think that unless you're gonna create an actual themed room, you'll be able to like recreate the essence of this place. But there's stuff that I think that we could bring home that could be great reminders. And it's, I feel like no matter yeah. where you are in the world, there are certain things that would work in everyone's homes. Some of the smells, yeah. some of the sounds, yeah. some of the, like, the fabrics and stuff. Mm. Oh my God, yeah. Wow. So, okay, yeah. dinner time. Do you want to give them a little preview of the photo session? I'll recreate it. Just turn the camera on. Okay. Ready? Is this your version? La la la, la 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 la. See it blowing through my hair? <laughs> Okay, nothing blows through my hair. <laughs> Jack, your hair doesn't move, darling. No, it doesn't. Here, wait, wait, wait. Let me go out. Oh, shoot, help me. You will this. Okay. Let's get the, the shot of Jack. There we go. <laughs> Is that my sultry face? Yeah, let's see your... Oh, work it. Work it, boy, work it. <laughs> Ew, no, baby, no. No, Jack. <laughs> That's all that it does. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you look like you have something in your eye. <laughs> Goofy. Well, there you go. This is, uh, the, this is the aftermath of trying to do a photo shoot. And we are con trying to connive our ways into getting some of these cups that are handmade here. Let's see if yes. I can see it better over like here. These are unbelievable. So we're trying to trying to figure out if we can get some cups like this made and or just purchased from the people that made these but yeah. this room is incredible i'm using the ladder from the bathroom to hold all my all my clothes we're just having fun i'm having just so having fun. much fun yeah. i'm having a blast yeah. taking photos of you the kids are playing in the background while we're like they, we're doing like, a photo we, shoot we're doing a photo shoot while they want to take their showers yeah so, yeah yeah, it's so. amazing. We're having so much fun. So, all right, let's go get dinner before right. they eat their arms off. Yes. <laughs> it is a little bit after lunchtime, and we have been waking up late and going for long walks on the beach. And now we're going to head down. There's like a little area by the beach with some shops that Haley wanted to check out. But we're very excited that we even got to do this trip. It's pretty amazing. So, yeah, all right, we're going to head out. This whole road along the beach is pretty incredible and there's all kinds of shops, but there's really not anywhere to put the car, at least that makes sense to us. So they advised us not to walk it and now that we're out here, we're like, I don't know where to put the car either. And so far we haven't seen anything. I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioning just blasting. It's about 90 degrees today and it feels like 100% humidity. But anyways, uh, there was another speed, speed mountain. mountain. <laughs> That's what we're calling them. Uh, but anyways, there are amazing spas and shops and just little huts and I don't know. Like that was a cool one, Jack. But I'm like, there's not anything close enough 
Like, then you could park right here. Can I? I don't know. Maybe. It looks like it's Can we try it? You can try it. I ended up uh, stopping into that little store. I didn't take the big camera with me, but I did take a little bit of footage with my iPhone. So I'll pop that in for you guys. I actually found some really cute stuff there. So we are, we have a very cranky little boy in the back. So we're gonna ditch shopping at the moment, take a few little video clips as we drive back to our hotel and then maybe resume, maybe go out, I don't know. This is part of, that's some cute stuff back know, there. really cute coffee shop. Okay, so there's some cute stuff. Gosh, there's so many cute things. It's almost overwhelming to know where to stop. There's so much good stuff. But we're gonna take uh, our little hangry boy back to the hotel and get him something to eat. A lot of the places that we're looking at don't appear to be open for lunch. Or if they are, there's no one sitting in them. So, I don't know. But either way, the quickest method of getting, making sure we get him food and food fast is to take him back to the hotel. All right, you guys, back in the car. This time it's just the two of us. And we are headed to our restaurant reservation, which was supposed to be for six, except that Parker was feeling car sick and Marco was feeling a little bit under the weather. So they are all just uh, resting at the resort. Um, but yeah, they, they just wanted to stay and rest and they weren't super hungry. And we had this amazing reservation at a restaurant that apparently is almost completely impossible to get a reservation at. So. Jack has made the reservation. I know nothing about it, except that all they serve is seafood that has literally, it's literally the catch of the day. A lot more lively now. A lot more now. lively yeah. than lunchtime. Yeah, there was like nobody. Wow. Oh, jeez. God, Jack. so sorry. <laughs> uh, this way, yeah, when lunchtime there was nobody in these restaurants and now they're all full. So there you go. There's a wrestling mat. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> a wrestling mat. Match. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and people walking down the middle of the road. It's funny. They're like, eh. <laughs> Estamos en México. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go. Let's get to this restaurant in one piece. I feel like if I'm watching somehow that's gonna make a difference. Probably not. But I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Let's do it. guys it's been a little while since we uh, actually picked up the vlog camera but it is about 5 45 and we are on the second to last day of our vacation here which we we're already <laughs> we're already sad because it's just gone by so, so fast. fast it's just been so amazing and we were just sitting in the car talking about the fact that our resort is so amazing that we haven't had motivation to even leave it and that has never happened to us ever not the two of us we are kind of restless yeah a little bit you can't tell that's a mild understatement <laughs> we want to go everywhere we want to see everything we want to take lots of pictures and this time our resort has been just such an amazing experience for us and the restaurant on property is so good the coffee so yeah. good oh careful ah jack jeez yeah baby no Almost lost a mirror and half the car. But yeah, no Pasanada. I bought the extra insurance. Did you We're just fine. like ask how to say that? Because that's the only Spanish you've said so far. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> can't even remember our room number nope, in Spanish. No idea. Can't remember it in English. I'm like, can you go ask him for towels? And he's just like, like uh, Tawayas. Yeah, that felt like feeding him lines and I'm like I don't speak that great of Spanish it's been 20 years since we lived in Spain and we lived in Catalonia where they spoke Catalan so so anyways we are actually on the way you can't tell the, the bumping of the car here we are headed to what we hope is gonna be an amazing ceramics shop the cups and 
plates and stuff that they have at our resort are so beautiful and they're handmade and we want them <laughs> and they can't find the artisan that made them it's literally been calling they had this little piece of paper with the 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 guy's name on it and then phone number it's been it's been so long since they had them made it's been like almost 20 years they can't even make out the phone number anymore so uh yeah so it's not looking probable that we're gonna be able to get a set of the cups or the plates so we thought maybe we'll venture out for a few minutes uh, and see if maybe this ceramic shop has something great too. We're actually in the completely wrong place because uh, Jack put the wrong well, <laughs> address no, in. No, no, not Jack. Google put the wrong. So yeah, so we are off. Uh, we're off back the way we came, sort of, and going back to a different. Actually, I think it's taking us a different way. It is taking us a different way. It's actually really fun to be it out here fun. and to see real Tulum. I, I, I know we're seeing a lot of the touristy areas, but this is really fun for us, of course, because oh, the baskets, they have them back there. Whoa, geez. Jeez, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> I think they have the baskets from our place, don't no they? Use. Okay, we might just be getting out. <laughs> Hold tight. <laughs> so we stopped at the cutest little shop. It was a husband and wife, and he was sitting there weaving chairs like literally making chairs by hand and it's called H.O. Amano which of course means made by hand H.O. Amano Tulum I'm gonna put their information down in this in the description box for you guys so I'll give you a, a full Woo! Jack <laughs> oh my gosh I feel for Kermit <laughs> oh my gosh Wow. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Jeez, honey. <laughs> All right, not sure if you could see the road, but we almost died again. Jack is uh, driving like he's in Morocco. I know how this is. Anyways, I bought some really beautiful hand-woven baskets. I'm really excited because I'll use these on my table when I get home. And I have some smaller ones in here. And I think we'll just do like one big haul I, it maybe it won't be very big if we don't find the ceramic shop, but now I'm determined to find some Mexican uh, shops on Etsy. So whatever I don't find here, then I'm gonna look on Etsy, and that way I can tell you guys a few of my favorites. But yeah, we'll do a full haul maybe when we get back home for you guys. But for now, not that I can do much, but I'm gonna watch the road, <laughs> and I wanna be able to see. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and let you just see where we are and where we're headed. Fun. having an absolute blast and it's just crazy here and feels like home actually <laughs> we're at home in this environment too I think this is a side most people who know our YouTube channel haven't seen because you didn't we didn't start the YouTube channel until we were in like calm Copenhagen and then back in the US but after living in Morocco for three years yeah. this sort of environment is like really familiar and we're at home in it too so we're having fun all right off we go back to the resort we are obviously back in the car and headed to the airport we have had an, an amazing adventure haven't we Jack it has been a lot of fun it's been a quite the adventure so uh, we um, we opted to sit at the beach all day yesterday like the cenotes jack we haven't been in like the ruins and there was like too many things to do felt like seven days yeah. total for the trip was actually just too short kids are all happy everybody's healthy so we're excited to get back home and get unpacked show you what we got and yeah see you there well hello you guys we are back at home in atlanta and i have to tell you it feels really good to be home and i think it's that journey in between <laughs> 
<laughs> that just makes you so glad to be home. Oh, you guys let me know down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. But I thought before we wrapped up today's video that I would share with you what we actually bought. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a little guide to Tulum and I will include that down below in the show notes so that you will, if you decide to go back to Tulum, you can also uh, look down below and get the little guide to where we went. But also I would love to hear from you guys because we had an amazing experience at the Papaya Playa project. Again, so hard to say, but we had an amazing experience. It was definitely very rustic. Um, don't have, you have running water? It's very important to us. We had a clean pool that came and cleaned our pool every single day. It was amazing being at the beach. The food was incredible, but it was definitely more rustic. You were walking through sand and through the jungle to go places, which we thought was amazing. But if you guys have been to Tulum or the Cancun area, we would love if you write down in the comments the places you've been, about your experiences, and that way this video could be a resource to anyone that's thinking about going to the Tulum Cancun area. So yes, let me show you what I got for now. So. Remember I stopped at the H.O. Amano little shop and uh, she gave us her cute little sticker and I'll make sure to put that information in the free PDF. You just download it and it's free. I bought a couple of these really cute, they were literally making this stuff in the shop and uh, I thought that these would be really nice for serving. So I got one big one if I wanted to maybe put drinks or I wanna put something bigger in here and then two of the smaller ones to be able to put out on the table. I thought that these were just so cute and I loved them and I will link up to something similar that can be purchased in the US if you're looking for something similar. That way I know that not everybody's gonna go to Tulum in the next few weeks. So I'll try to leave you links. Uh, then we went to the shop afterwards and I don't even know what exactly Jack bought because he bought so much stuff and I was like, how many candles did you just buy? <laughs> and then I went and sat in the car while he was finishing and he tends to go and grab things. So we got these gorgeous spoons. I love to buy natural wood spoons. I love when they just wear over time and I just thought that these were gorgeous and they smell good and yeah, I think that handmade wood spoons is one of my favorite things to buy. Isn't that such a cute little bag? La Tiendita, handmade in Mexico. La Tiendita is what it says. So that's where we were shopping. Again, I'm gonna put all that in that free PDF. Look down in the description box if you're looking for it so you can get it. The Tamarin, this is handcrafted in Mexico. Oh man, I wish I could just like send this through. It smells so good. It's actually quite sweet. Oh, you might actually hear the washer going because we have not stopped running laundry since we got back. <laughs> it's like everything, I told Jack, you do know that you were supposed to leave the sand there and not bring it home in your suitcase. All of his clothes, he had just like sand all over them. So we've just been washing everything. This is Circulo de Adas and Naranja Musco Sandalo. Sandalo, Sandalo. Wow, that one smells so good. That's so cool. Yeah, and again, made in Mexico. That's so cool, look at that. Yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, Jack's gonna have a plethora of candles for us to enjoy at home. And yeah, so if you're gonna be in Tulum, definitely check out these little shops. This is ritual number one, Palo Santo. And I'm convinced that I will love that because I love Palo Santo. And if you want uh, to get the fragrance of Tulum, I would definitely recommend Palo Santo because even in the restaurant we were at, they were smoking the areas with incense and it actually got rid of the bugs. And I thought that was so clever. We have so much citronella, but I never thought to like have incense burning and that the smoke would ward off the bugs. And so, yeah, I might have to try ordering some Palo Santo. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I will link, I have a favorite Palo Santo candle that I have from the US. So I will link to my favorite that's in the US, but for sure, these are made by hand in Mexico. And that's just, that's what we really wanted to do. We wanted to support uh, businesses in Mexico while we were there, and especially if they're artisanal like this. That's what we love so much about the place that we were staying. It was 
all a celebration of artisanal crafts and uh, just, it was so cool. I also got some of these baskets. These are supposed to be gifts for those who have helped us take care of the house and the dog and of course I don't wanna give those up. <laughs> oh, and I guess we got some bigger ones too. I got one with a little lid. I was thinking this would be really cute in the boys' bathroom. Uh, I've really fallen in love with baskets all over again, thanks to Mexico. Jack grabbed some Grand Reserva Gourmet at at Nia 52, 100% Mexico coffee. How pretty is that packaging? Isn't that gorgeous? We were actually looking in the duty-free shops because we could not find local chocolates or anything while we were in Tulum. So maybe we just didn't know where to look and uh, we were <laughs> enjoying our time by the beach and touring houses so much that we didn't have as much time to go and do other things, but we had a blast. <laughs> so lots of, uh, bought lots of chocolates in the airport. <laughs> this one's got uh, cardamom and uh, that one's 72% chocolate. So kind of went a little crazy in the airport. I also bought some really cute, look at these. They're little cute boxes to give to the one, to those that were helping us take care of the house and Louie. And it's just got an actual mix of five different kinds of chocolate bars. Isn't that so cute? I went by uh, La Valise. It was another resort. It's adult only. So Jack and I were talking about maybe going back there if we weren't gonna take the kids and staying somewhere like that because they had beautiful rooms, beautiful gift shop. It was really extraordinary, but it was adults only, which is why we didn't book that place. But they also had um, uh, sandalwood and romaine and uh, karate and oud. I don't know what karate is, uh, but they had, and this one's amber, Ambar Negro Bergamo, Bergamoto. I can't, I have to stop and think in Spanish. <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce things in Spanish. <laughs> it's always the biggest struggle. People usually struggle switching between languages. But either way, I got a little slew of their hand soaps and their body soap. Already been enjoying one of the hand soaps while we were there and fell in love with it. It smells so good. I'll try to link to something very similar in the US for you guys. Now, Jack bought one of the baskets from the hotel because we could not find any of these locally. So I will try to link to something similar for you as well because the quality on these is amazing and we love to be able to support local craftsmen as I've said and these are just beautiful and it was so convenient for us on the resort to just be able to walk back and forth with things, go down to the beach, go down to the different rooms, take something to dinner. And we just loved these baskets. So we have the other ones that are like kind of the French style with the little leather handles, but this was just so pretty that we didn't want to leave without one. So we were able to buy it from the hotel. The other thing that I bought from the hotel <laughs> was my coffee cup. I just could not leave without having these coffee mugs and they literally could not find the artisan that made these. And so at the last minute, they sold us two of them. <laughs> so if you go, you're probably not gonna be able to convince them <laughs> to sell them to you, to be honest, because they are gonna struggle to find who it was that made these if they need replacements. It's been almost 20 years. They are extraordinary and the color and depth on them is amazing. And so, yeah, this is, it's the right size. It feels really good in the hand. It's just perfection. So I will try to link to something similar. I was trying to find something on Etsy maybe where you could buy it direct from someone in Mexico. I will do my best to link to something similar, but either way, I just absolutely love these handmade mugs. I thought they were just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, love them. The last thing was when I was at La Velice, they had the table set so pretty. <laughs> so I literally had her sell me the table runner directly off the table. <laughs> Is that naughty or what? She only had one and I was like, I really want the one off the table. <laughs> she tried to show me three other kinds and I was like, nope, I just really want this one. And then I bought the napkins <laughs> and I bought a set of six of the little uh, placemats. What I thought was, what I thought was so cool about these is they have all, they are literally all handmade. I just loved their linens there. They have such beautiful linens and I was just so 
thrilled. I mean, that's just gorgeous. And the color of these was just wonderful. So again, I will try to link to things that are very similar to these for you so that you can shop as well because we just had such a blast and we're so inspired to, in our own kind of way, like have a little bit of that modern, kind of sophisticated, elegant, luxury, yet slightly bohemian look. I just loved it. I thought it was, I just thought it was so much fun. I had so much fun. So we hope that you enjoyed getting to visit to, getting to visit Tulum with us. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna be coming out with a video tour of two of the homes that are there and I don't want you to miss out. It's gonna be epic. Just think of it this way. It was so loud that we could, had to close the doors to be able to film because we were that close to the ocean. It was crazy. So make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed getting to go on a travel vlog with us. We love getting to take you guys with us. And um, I think that's all the time we have for today. So thank you again and cheers you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.